Hello my loves, welcome back to another video. Today's video we're going to talk about Teriyak by Latafa. We're going to review it and I have some layering combos for you guys. So if this is a topic that interests you, please keep on watching and also don't forget to subscribe and to like and leave a comment down below. Teriyak by Latafa. This fragrance has been everywhere on social media. The girls are loving it or some of them are not so much. This fragrance is definitely talked about and I'm here to give my two cents to this conversation if you guys want to know what I think about it. Let me tell you about the notes. The notes are caramel, bitter almond, pink pepper and apricot at the top. Then the mid you have some honey, some rhubarb, some white flowers and roses and at the base you have some vanilla, leather, musk, vetiver and labdanum. Now at first I was not going to fall for the hype of this fragrance because well sometimes fragrances are so personal first of all that sometimes things that other people might like or dislike you might like or dislike so for me i was just kind of like ah i'm not sure but the packaging attracted me because i love pink packaging with the exception of the top i just don't care for this top i don't know why they added that i just want to remove it um but yeah i just like the bottle and the aesthetic of it without the top of course and uh, yeah, I got curious and I was like, you know what? This is one of my favorite perfumer um, that created this fragrance. This is Quentin Beach uh, creation. He has created some masterpieces, La Belle by Jean-Pierre Gaultier, Guidance by Amouage. So he kind of like knows what he is doing. And honestly, I can see influences of those two fragrances that I talked about in this particular fragrance. So yeah, I was curious and I decided to give it a try. And guys this fragrance is good this fragrance is real good like real good first of all i don't like label i just have to put it out there i don't like labels uh, it smells rancid of me there's something in that particular fragrance that i do not care for but i can see the dna of label in this fragrance not necessarily that they are due to that they are you know like a replica this is not a replica of label at all but it has a little bit of some label touches in here but done much better i prefer the mixture of the almond with the apricot i think that the apricot here is just so beautifully done so it's giving you fruity at the top then floral in the mid and then you have some leathery woody touches at the base this fragrance is quite a journey from start to mid to end and it's a journey that i really enjoy um it starts pretty sweet and inviting then it rounds up with like some flowers giving you some feminine touches and then it settles down more more composed more sure of itself more uh territorial in a way this fragrance lasts for a long time this fragrance is potent you do not need to spray a lot this fragrance is going to fill a room if you overspray but I mean, if you like your strong fragrances, you like your strong fragrances. But I just wanted to give my two cents on this fragrance because this fragrance has been talked about so much. And I just think that it's a good one. It really is. If you like your fragrances that are a bit sweet, a bit floral, and then a little bit giving you that leather, some masculine touches, you know, marrying feminine touches. Honestly, this fragrance has it all for the price. I, you really can't go wrong with this. You really can't. This is very affordable. I think that the most expensive price that I've seen so far was like $59, uh, excuse me, somewhere. But yeah, I think I purchased mine for like $41 on Mercari. Somebody did not like it. And yeah, I, I mean, this fragrance is nice. This fragrance is really nice. Now, I have some layering combos with this for my girls that like you know to play with their fragrances and i was thinking that if you maybe have those fragrances maybe you can play with uh teriyak as well or if you have the fragrance and then you don't particularly care for the scent and then you are you don't know what to do with it layering really helps because you can create other things and then it may help you appreciate this fragrance more so yeah let's talk about some layering combos the first combo that I have is Teriyak with Vanilla 28. Now, 20, Vanilla 28 is this kind of like spicy, uh, slightly sweet, a bit gourmand vanilla. And it's one of my most versatile uh, vanillas. It's very nice. It's, it's potent. At least when the juice gets this dark, it's very potent. Uh, it's long lasting. 
with teriyak i thought i find that the vanilla and those um spicy touches work very well with the base because uh, teriyak has that leather the vetiver the labdanum so they marry each other very very nicely so if you already have vanilla 28 and you just added teriyak pair them together because that's a beautiful combo this combo is going to be a play on the caramel that teriyak has so this is teriyak and bianco latte now bianco latte has caramel and honey you know as the note so and then teriyak also has caramel and honey so if you really like your caramel and you want you want to have a little bit more of that you want it to be amped up in your teriyak adding a scent like or a perfume like bianco latte would definitely do that they are gorgeous together they really are so bianco latte gives this nice creaminess this overload of vanilla caramel and honey that is just so mouth watering and if you already have bianco latte and you just added teriyak definitely pair them together because this is a mouth watering delicious like fragrance combo i really had to recommend it so yeah these two together are banger the, th the notes of caramel in the background i'm going to recommend also if you already have lira by zerzhov to pair it with teriyak as well now lira has more of the blood orange almost giving you the a lemon pancake type of vibe and what i like about this particular pairing is pretty much the dry down i don't personally like the opening of lira but that's just me so whenever i pair them together i also struggle with that opening and it might be the same for you but you have to wait because this one is was an accidental find i was just playing with them and i put it in my on my skin and i could not stop sniffing it once both of them dried down the caramel coming out of lira with that lemon pancake kind of like fluffy uh, vanilla situation it's just so beautiful with teriyak honestly if you already have lira and you just added it again pair them together and take me later but that is actually very fun but it's going to also be super long lasting it's going to be teriyak with nishane 100 silent ways now hear me out these two together this was an unlikely pairing because i was just kind of like playing around again with my fragrances and i just found that these two are just gorgeous together you have the apricot here so the, you have some like the fruity touches over here but then you also have the peach in here and this peach for some reason marries so well with the apricot because they are kind of like similar in scent first of all and then you have sandalwood here you have some jasmine you have some mandarin and then you have some um, vetiver. And I believe that teriyak also has ver Yep, it does have vetiver. So these two together are just absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, if you already have 100 Silent Ways, you just added teriyak. Guys, just, just do what you got to do here because you got to pair them. You got to pair them. Just trust me on this one. This one is fantastic. You get longevity. You get... You just get everything that you're supposed to get and if you and you also get that overload of the fruit and the sweetness so if you thought that teriyak was not very sweet pairing it with hundred silent ways is definitely going to give you the red the right sweetness so yeah these two together excellent what that i have with teriyak is going to be with utonka guys i came around with shagaf utonka okay like i've talked about it um but this particular combo is nuclear somebody recommended it on my instagram and i was like wait a minute let me try it real quick and guys i actually have it on it smells fantastic the oud i mean you barely have any oud with utonka anyways but the almond with the uh blood the tunisian orange blossom with the rose and then the tonka bean and vanilla Mary teriyak so beautifully you wouldn't think that they would work but they actually do these are two of the hot girls right now these are two very affordable fragrances guys if you already have utonka because i know this one came out before uh teriyak or maybe the, the other way around i'm not sure but i think this one came out before guys if you already have utonka and you just added teriyak again you guys already know what to do pair them together pair them together come back and give me my check <laughs> Because this one is a powerful one. First of all, Utonka lasts a very long time. It's a very potent fragrance. It's last, it's strong, but it's beautiful. It has those beautiful gourmand touches. And teriyak with it gives it that sweetness. And then the floral touches. And then a little bit of some leathers. Oh, guys, 
I'm telling you again, this combo is banger. Try it and let me know. So it's a combo that is going to announce you before you get it wherever you're going because this is a powerful one. This is Terry up with Oud for Greatness. Now, Oud for Greatness is one of the best, the absolute best oud fragrances ever created and pairing it with teriyak is just so masterful first of all uh, oud for greatness lasts forever on the skin so and then teriyak has great longevity now if you found that oud for greatness was too masculine for you the feminine touches in teriyak at least the fruity touches and the floral touches are going to marry uh, oud for greatness so beautifully i tried it on myself again i was just playing around and this came out to be such a wonderful uh, combo. Honestly, because um, uh, uh, Wood for Greatness has patchouli and musk. It has some lavender, some saffron, some agar wood. <sighs> I, I don't even know how these notes are working together, but they are. Okay, just, just trust me on this one. Just play with it. And yeah, just like I said, if you thought that your Wood for Greatness was too masculine, but you already have it and you just added teriyak, you already know what to do. Pair them together. <laughs> As we come to the end of this video, this one was a very short and sweet video again. And I'm kind of liking these kind of like speed, shorty videos. What do you guys think? And let me know in the comments. But so like again, thank you so much for tuning in. And I really appreciate you guys, you know, rocking with me. We're at the very beginning of this journey and I can't wait to see how far we go. So Please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, to share, send it to your friends and tell me in the comments which one of these combos you are dying to try. I'm dying to know your thoughts on them and yeah, let's talk later and I'll see you next time. Bye!